War always interested me. Not war in the sense of maneuvers devised by great generals. My imagination refused to follow such a man's movements. I did not understand them. But the reality of war, the actual killing, I was more interested to know in what way and under the influence of what feeling one soldier kills another than to know how the armies were arranged at Austerlitz and Borodino. I had long passed the time when pacing the room alone and waving my arms I imagined myself a hero instantaneously slaughtering an immense number of men and receiving a generalship as well as imperishable glory for so doing. The question now occupying me was different. Under the influence of what feeling does a man, with no apparent advantage to himself, decide to subject himself to danger, and what is more surprising still, to kill his fellow men. I always wish to think that this is done under the influence of anger, but we cannot suppose that all those who fight are angry all the time, and I had postulate feelings of self-preservation and duty. What is courage? That quality respected in all ages and among all nations. Why is this good quality, contrary to all others, sometimes met with in vicious men? Can it be that to endure danger calmly is merely a physical capacity, and that people respect it in the same way that they do a man's tall stature or robust frame? Can a horse be called brave, which, fearing the whip, throws itself down a steep place where it will be smashed to pieces? Or a child, who, fearing to be punished, runs into a forest where it will lose itself? Or a woman, who, for fear of shame, kills her baby and has to endure penal prosecution? Or a man, who, from vanity, resolves to kill a fellow creature and exposes himself to the danger of being killed? In every danger... There is a choice. Does it not depend on whether the choice is prompted by a noble feeling or a base one, whether it should be called courage or cowardice? These were the questions and the doubts that occupied my mind, and beside which I intended to avail myself of this first opportunity to go into action.